Hey guys, this is Steven, and today I'm going to show you how to make a colored bar background. We're going to be making something that looks a little bit like this today. You can skip the whole line and text if you want to, and just keep it like this, but I'll still include this part in the tutorial. Alright, let's get started. Let's make a new document. My screen resolution is 1440 by 1080, and I'm going to keep it like that, and make sure that RGB color is selected. We're going to hit OK. Now before we do anything else, make sure that the color down here is set down to black. Alright, we're going to go to Filter, Render, Clouds. Those clouds look good, so we're going to move on. Go to Filter again, down to Pixelate, and go down to Mesotint. What this will do, it will make it look liney. Now make sure that you go down and select Long Strokes, then hit OK. After that, we're going to go back up to Filter again, and give it the bar effect. So go down to Filter, Blur, and then go down to Motion Blur. Make sure that the angle is set to 90 degrees and that the distance is set up from whatever it is all the way up to 999. And then hit OK. Then we're going to create a new layer coming down to here. Excuse me for my phone, I'm sorry. And we're going to go over here to Gradient and make sure that the full color spectrum is selected right there. And all we're going to do is go from one side and drag it all the way out to the other, like that. Now you're going to come over here from and select the blending mode from normal and switch it to overlay so it fits right on top. Now we're going to create the edge softness called a vignette and that's just making the edges a little bit softer and blacker so that it's a little bit nicer to look at. So we're going to create a new layer again and we're going to go over here and we're going to right click it and select the elliptical marquee tool and you're just gonna and I'm gonna select put the feather up to about a hundred pixels that looks good enough for me so I'm going to drag from one corner and put it to the next just like that and as that's selected I'm just gonna go up to select inverse and then to fill this part with black all you're gonna do is press alt delete just like that and that looks good so when you want to deselect that, just press Control D, and that'll deselect it. Now we're going to take this layer over here, select it, and turn the opacity down just about to 70. 75 looks good. Just to give it like a subtle hint of a vignette right there. That looks good. Now you can stop here if you want, or if you want to add text, you can keep on following the tutorial. Alright, so let's keep on going. To create the little middle bar, what you're going to do is create a new layer and go back up here to the marquee tool, except this time select the rectangular marquee tool. And what you're going to do is just create a little thin bar, doesn't how matter how big it is because you can always center it later. And just stretch it across like that and you're going to come here to your black and just select a medium to light gray. I'm just going to select it right there, that looks about good. Hit OK. And like as before, we're going to hit Alt Delete and that'll fill it in. And now, if you want to center this, all we have to do is go select, go down to Inverse, go back up to the Move tool right here, and just hit that little button right there and that'll center it perfectly in the middle of your screen. Then, as we did before, just hit Control D to deselect it. And we're going to bump down the opacity a little bit just so it's, you know, a little bit easier to look at. So we're going to select that layer, come to the opacity thing right here, and we're going to drag that around 50%. That looks pretty good. Now for our final step, we're just going to have to add the text. So I'm going to switch my text to a really, really light gray, and I'm just going to hit the text tool, click it, and I'm just going to write hmm, CC Multimedia, as usual. All right, this font is um, anthro, en, anthocentric, I believe, just like that. And what we're gonna do? That looks about good. The size looks fine. That's all good. And we're all we're gonna do is right-click on the layer, just like this, and hit rasterize. Then we're gonna 
click on the little icon right here, that little thing, and select pixels. Up to select inverse, and then hit this button. And we're gonna hit this button, and it'll center it correctly. Now all you have to do to deselect it again is just hit Control D, and that is perfectly aligned. Now I just like turning down the opacity around 50% again, because that's just I like it better like that, and that looks pretty good. You can play with the opacities, make it lower, higher. It's fine, whatever. It looks cool to me. All right, guys, I hope you liked this tutorial, and I hope it helped a lot. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe. Stay tuned for more. Peace.